Hi y'all, I'm Allison. Welcome to the Mighty Boo Show. Today we're tracking moods with a mood mandala. So I'm gonna show y'all how I started off mine for February. I'm sticking with a limited color palette this month, primarily pink, red, and cream colors. And I used a tip out for my mood list because I inevitably end up scrunching it on the side and it always looks like a mess. So I thought I'd try this method this time. And once again, I am creating my mood list as I go. That way, if anything out of the ordinary comes up, I can easily work it into my list. And look, I figured out how to do picture in picture. So, <laughs> been playing with my editing this morning, and yeah, my day's gone. But hey, I learned a new technique. It's all about learning, right? Now, if you've never done a mood tracker in your bullet journal, I highly recommend trying one. It's interesting to see how your moods correlate with either the amount of sleep that you've gotten, the weather, you know, how much you've gotten done. It's, like I said, it's kind of cool to be able to look and go, oh, well, no wonder I was in such a bad mood. It rained for four days in a row. And it's relaxing. I really enjoy working on mine. Now, if you've never tried the mandala, I highly recommend doing it. Like I said, it's relaxing and fun, and it's really enjoyable to see it come together by the end of the month. It always looks vastly different than how it started out. And while they may look intimidating, as you can see, it's just a series of little lines. And if you're not sure what to do for the next day, just color your ring and leave it and more often than not whenever you come back to it you'll go oh well I should have a row of circles or I'll just do some triangles here they look complicated when they're done but the process is really quite simple and I'm convinced that by doing this this is I think my fourth one to do just with the repetitive uh, motion of doing the same image over and over I, th I think it's helping my drawing skills so you you get more consistent with making your lines and your circles so anyway if you haven't tried one I highly recommend it If you do, you know, using different size markers will make a difference in the uh, design. It'll emphasize one area as opposed to another and give you some dimension to your picture. So there, there's the beginning of mine, and I'm quite happy with it so far. So if you'd like to see how this progresses, be sure and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with another update of this and my March setup. Y'all have a great one. Bye.